But anyway, you know what? I want I want to help this out a little further here tonight, and I want to make this one show, three shows. I want this information on New York and online and on YouTube, if that'll help. Absolutely. Calling I mean, all the, angels. The more we can get the word out, obviously, the better off it's going to be. Uh huh. Tell me, if I may ask you this personal question here tonight. You've been in this for a long time. Mm -hmm. What bridged you to go in this direction? It was probably pretty much a, a natural thing in terms of coming from my family. Uh, my grandfather on my mother's side was a teacher. And during the Great Depression, being a teacher and trying to feed your family was, was an oxymoron. It just didn't work. So he decided to open up a grocery store. So he felt he could feed his family and his extended family. And not only that, he also fed 50 other families. Mm. No strings attached mm. during the Depression. And I can remember my grandmother talking about, both my grandmothers on both sides, talking about the kitchen door. And people come to the kitchen door and they were making sandwiches and a cup of coffee for those people. And it was just that spirit of giving and taking care of other people, the needs of other people. And it, it was passed down by my mother, by my father, and so we've always been active in that vein. I did my lay apostolic missionary training in Canada, and uh, when I came back, I started helping at Miss Virginia's Mission House, and I've been kind of doing that stuff for a long time. And how about your students? Would you mind sharing? what? What bridged you to help out with this? Oh, Mr. Floyd. Oh, Mr. Floyd. <laughs> he did, because, um, I don't know, he talks about it a lot in our class, and he's just such a caring guy, and I don't know, he just really talked me into it. And Does he bring snacks? No. <laughs> no, I, I twist arms sometimes, though. Yeah, yeah. A plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, I'll keep dreaming, anyway. Uh, how about you? Mr. Floyd, because he just, like, he really like pushes us to bring in cans. He really wants us to meet the goal. And there's a lot of families that are really suffering right now through like our like our recession and everything. So they really need it. And if you have it, why not give it? That's how I feel. Well, I was always taught that if you if you want something, you got to give what you want. Go figure. Mm -hmm. I want more food. Give it. And it sure. always happens. It always comes through. I always get more. Excellent. Life's a mystery. It is a mystery. So what else? What else would you like to share tonight? Other ideas, schemes, plans? Well, um, like, like I said before, I came into uh, Mr. Floyd's room this morning with, a, with a, about a two-thirds of a page of uh, ideas, different ideas that we could um, use to promote uh, the, uh, the can drive. Um, one of the main ideas was to uh, talk to the art departments, um, like uh, in our school specifically, um, but I, I've been thinking maybe we could talk to the art departments of other schools as well about Good designing idea. designing a logo uh, for the canned food drive, and uh, like with this logo, anyone who wants to join and volunteer and help with the group, um, you know, if they donate the money or a certain amount of cans, they could get a T-shirt with the logo on it, and then they could wear it around and say, "Hey, I helped out," you know. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Hey, I, like I helped. Help. Hey, Lo, I helped out. Hello, I helped out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you use it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's so positive. That's a divine idea. And there's just all kinds of ideas. Something we, we did for about three years in a row is that we had some students at Elmhurst that had a rock band. But they knew huh. students at Dwinger and so probably about four other schools that had rock bands. And so they had the connection to get a church that would donate their hall and we would have a rock concert there, and each group would come and perform for a, you know a while, and the cost to get in was either five bucks or so, I don't know five or six cans of food or something like that. Oh, five or six cans of food? Yeah. No money. Yeah, or, either or five, five bucks, bucks or, or and I can't or. remember how many cans it was. Uh -huh. It might have been ten, but at any rate, we got a lot of cans that way. We also got some money that way. We go out and buy food. They had a good time. We even sold refreshments there, you know, as part of the thing, and that would raise a little bit of money because people would donate what they brought in. And so that was one thing that was, was very successful. And, you know, John Glenn, who was the astronaut and then senator from Ohio, said that we used to say the sky is the limit. But he said we can't say that anymore. Uh -uh. 
The only limit we have, according to John Glenn, is our imagination. Mm -hmm. And if we put this imagination to use, and we start pooling some different ideas, I mean, if I'm one person sitting here thinking something, we're only going to get so far. But if we put our ideas together and put our hands together to go out to make this thing work and spread the word, <coughs> good things are going to happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and you know what? I was, I was uh, reflecting today about all of the all of the entities out here that do, that provides food for people mm -hmm. all year long. And you know what? They're all good. They're all good and there's some that are excellent. I I really believe that you know the there's the greater purpose here at Christmas time does impact and it does give people in so many ways a new habit that they can take throughout the whole year and and you know, given that service or given the food or, you know, whatever way, whatever way that comes out all year long. And that, that ultimately will change the world. Absolutely. One of the things that we've always encouraged people at Elmhurst to do, Thanksgiving is coming up here in a few days, is where are you going for Thanksgiving dinner? You going someplace else or are folks coming to your house? And they're usually a lot of relatives or friends. Oh, yeah. Get a hold of them. Call them. Text them. Email them, something else. They know I'm anti, I refuse to text anybody. But at any rate, I'm not a text guy. But yes. get a hold of them somehow and let them know, we've got this food drive going on. When you come to grandma's house or wherever you're going to go, can you bring a little something? Just an item or two, a few uh -huh. things. Uh -huh. Set it aside, we can bring it back, we can put it to where it really needs to be used. Well, Michael, this show will re-air next Monday night. And then we're going to do Angels Talk. We're going to create Angels Talk out of here. So that's two more shows. And that'll air a couple times before Christmas. So Outstanding. hopefully it'll work. And then it, and we'll also air in, in New York and on uh, Wednesdays uh, on WMNN. That's the big access station in New York. Uh, we're here at the number one access station in the nation. I had to say that because we work hard for that hand in hand, don't we, Michael? Absolutely. And a lot of that credit belongs to... Oh, no. Angels no. Sandra Lynch. I think it belongs Consistently. to angels at God Central Station. That's all of us, making it all happen, making a difference. Anyway, um, I had another question. So what happens then after Christmas? What, do you, what has been your experience after Christmas, after this ends? Does it just end there, or do you, are you involved in a ball rolling throughout the year? What? Hello. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so it doesn't that. stop. At yeah. Elmhurst, for example, there is a fall food drive. In the spring, there's construction. And in room 217, oh, there's a spring food drive. And <clears throat> Spring for food, huh? Then beyond that, okay. Winsong Pictures is continually looking for deals and opportunities and ways to raise food for those in need. And we've been very fortunate, very blessed. Over the last four decades, we've been able to raise over one million items for those in need. One million items. Yeah. That's like a number one, that's like a best-selling book or a, a <laughs> album record. So one people million. think all we Thank do are you know, sit back and make movies all the time. Well, we have film festivals, we have programs for kids, uh, we do things out in the community all the time, and food for people that are hungry, kids especially, that's important.